don't know. There's just like, there's something about that feeling of like being ready for the day. That's so valuable. I use this routine so that I know every day the things that I'm focusing on are things that are making me a better person and getting me closer to that higher potential version of myself. So I know that paying attention to my dreams, I know that being appreciative, I know that taking cold showers and drinking tea, and I know that working out is good for me, I know that meditation is good for me. I just, I don't always want to do it. I'm going to be real. Like, I don't always want to do it. And sometimes people get that shit twisted. Like, you just like this stuff. You like meditating. You like cold. It's like, no, nobody does. But that's why you need something that's going to hold you accountable. You know, you're checking off a checkbox. You're telling yourself, hey, this is what I know I need to do to be a better version of myself. And if you don't do it today, you're going to write it again tomorrow. And you're going to write it again the third day and the fourth day and the fifth day. And every day you didn't do it, you know you didn't do it. Only you knew. And that's all that matters. But when you want to complain about where you're at, you get to go read your journal and look at all the shit that you didn't do that you knew if you did, you would be a better version of yourself. So I think for me, it's more so like holding myself accountable. Uh, and then also like when I'm focused, when I write down what my calendar is for the day, when I write down the things I need to do for the day, it's like I don't have to think about it. I'm, I'm subconsciously moving towards the higher version of myself. That's probably the best way I can describe it is setting up a routine that can become subconscious. So you're subconsciously becoming that highest version of yourself. Can you give me yours? So like wake up, tea, mm -hmm. this, that, whatever. Wake up, make tea, get in my journal. I'm writing my dreams. I'm writing the things I'm appreciative of. I'm creating my plan for my body, what my workout's going to be, whether there's two workouts, whether it's just a short one. Then it's my calendar. What are the things that I need to do? Where do I need to be? And then it's your to-do list. What are the three to five things that you can do today that move you 1% closer to that highest human potential? Can you give me a sound bite? Like, uh... Wake up, write about your dreams, Tune into what you're appreciative of. Writing your plan for your body, your plan for your mind, your plan for the day. And you're going to get after it. Uh -huh.